want people to know that this is not a picnic in the park at all. You know, and if you have mild symptoms, thank God, thank God. A warning tonight from a local ER nurse who says her worst fear during the pandemic is now her reality. The veteran nurse's family now has coronavirus just days after she told us how afraid she was of that very thing happening. And tonight our Leslie Marine has her message in a story you will only see here on KCAL 9. Marcia Santini is a nurse here at UCLA. Last week, she told us her biggest fear was contracting COVID-19 and then bringing it home to her family. Tonight, her entire household is infected. I want people to know that this is not a picnic in the park at all. You know, and if you have mild symptoms, thank God. Thank God. UCLA ER nurse Marcia Santini spoke to us from her bed today. She couldn't sit up because she says she gets too dizzy. It's just one of the many COVID-19 symptoms she's experiencing. Weird sensations in my head. I get severe pain in different parts of my body. Um, I've now lost my taste and smell. I have a lot of GI type symptoms. Santini tested positive after her husband came down with symptoms. Her biggest fear as an ER nurse was bringing the virus home to her family. And now she, her husband and her 21 year old son all have it. This was like someone punched me in the gut and ripped my heart out. And I'm thinking, how could this happen? We were so careful. She says each family member has different symptoms. On Sunday, she had to rush her husband to the ER. But while the family is battling the virus at home, she worries about her colleagues battling it on the front lines. So many colleagues across the nation that have died. We just lost two people last week at UCLA. This is a tragedy. In LA County this week, 250 healthcare workers get infected every day, an all time record. We owe a debt of gratitude to our healthcare workers. Honoring them, however, means more than sharing expressions of thanks. And with the hospital system strained from the most recent surge, Santini's message is for everyone. If healthcare workers can't work, who will help the sick? We're all integral. And if you take any pieces of those puzzles out, the system is going to fall apart and patients will suffer. This is affecting everybody. Santini tells us that she's heard talks about having to reuse and re-sterilize PPE. She says this is just another way healthcare workers are putting their health on the line every single day. Reporting in Westwood, Leslie Marine, KCAL 9 News.